Now, for most people, they're an unsightly, often rather smelly necessity, but beauty is, of course, in the eye of the beholder. And photographer Andy Parker from Sussex has developed a, a unique interest, some might say obsession, about snapping bins. Yes, he's captured images of more than a thousand bins in Brighton, and he says, forget portraits and landmarks, what's, what's you, uh, usually hidden out of sight. Sorry, I'm just quite perplexed. Often <laughs> is the most interesting. Bryony Mansfield has been to meet him. He had a passion for photograph and rock bands, but one day, on his way to work, they caught his eye. Bins. People like, constantly think I'm working for the council. You get to see what's not hidden on a really nice street on the other side, which is clean and full of tables and people drinking and having lunch and stuff. And then behind it is kind of chaos. From pairs of shiny red ones to charred and neglected blue ones, so far Andy has taken over a thousand photos of different bins across the city. Individually, they may not look like much, but once he began to build up a collection, he says it fueled a certain intrigue and fascination into the boxes on wheels that are part of our everyday lives. One or two around Brighton. There's, there's a handful, yeah. Yeah, not many. The obvious thing is, why? Well, yes, and that is the question that I think everyone's asking. Why not? I think that's it. It's just it's one of those things that they're just kind of there. The whole project recently went on show as part of a photography course in Brighton. Andy says it's not a big statement about the environment or cleaning up the streets, just a different way of looking at the city that he lives in. Brian Mansfield, BBC South East Today, Brighton. Do you know what that reminds me of? What? One of my favourite books, right. Men and Sheds.